Hello everyone, Stephen Reagan Myers here with Freedom Works Alabama and Tea Party Time Network. We're here at the Gardendale Civic Center. We've got a, a Patriot Connection event uh, here today where we've invited folks in from North Jefferson County and the surrounding areas to uh, meet with us and uh, you know, get to know each other, get to know like-minded folks. Uh, like-minded in the sense that uh, we're concerned about preserving our, our country and its original intent as the Founding Fathers seen it and set it out to be and uh, we just want to try to help people come together that are like-minded to restore our country back to to its founding so uh, here today as a special guest we have with us uh, Senator Scott Beeson and uh, just great to have you here Steve, Scott. It's, it's good to be here with you today and uh, you know Scott uh, it's, a, it's a football Saturday and uh, you know Scott's working hard all week and and he takes a Saturday to come up here and, and meet with his constituents and uh, you know, tell us his view on some things. And we really appreciate that. But one of the things that we're concerned about, uh, those of us involved in the Tea Party, uh, patriotic, conservative type movement here in Alabama, is the recent decision that the uh, leadership in Montgomery uh, made about uh, removing Scott from his uh, Rules Committee chairmanship. And that hasn't set very well with many of us. In fact, uh, I was uh, called Scott, he was on a radio show the other day, and I called in and I said, Scott, here's the thing, here's my problem. I said, you know, I get it that, you know, these guys made a decision to remove you, and that's, that's, their, that's their place if they want to make that decision. I said, but in reality, they did me a favor, because what they did is serve to confirm my suspicions that they were actually on the other side, just like I thought. So now we have a line drawn in the sand, in my view, uh, that, that simply says, look, we're not for the right kind of progress here in Alabama to get us to where we need to be. Uh, we kind of want to stay status quo. And we've got guys like Scott Beeson, and he's not the only one. There's others. Uh, Paul Busman out there, Paul DeMarco, uh, you know, Ed Henry. And I know I'm forgetting some, some great folks out there. But today we're here with Scott. I just wanted to ask Scott, from his point of view, you know, why do you think, Scott, the decision was made to remove you from uh, the chairmanship of the Rules Committee? Stephen, I think there's, there's probably some reasons that I'm not really aware of, but I think the most clear one uh, is that the leadership just gave in to pressure. The Democrats in the Senate were, were pressuring them. Liberal media across the state was pressuring them. And I think it's really, it's really that. Now, there may be some deeper reasons that I don't want to talk about. And I think a lot of people have had some conjecture about those things. But I think pressure is probably the, the easiest one. And so when you say pressure, Scott, and I don't want to pressure you too far, but can you expand on that a little bit? Just uh, you think the pressure they were feeling, uh, what, what, do you, what do you think? What kind of pressure? Well, I think, you know, I've been involved in some controversies over the last year. I've done what I told my, my voters I would do, the people who elected me. I mean, we pushed hard and got the best illegal immigration law in the country. I think that's part of it. And, and during all these firestorms, uh, it's been clear that the press and the, and the media and Democrats are really upset about the direction that I've been moving the rules committee. They, they know what my beliefs are. They know I don't back down. They know if the editorial boards don't like me, that's fine. I have to answer to the people. And there is a vision for how Alabama can be the greatest state in this country. I intend to move us that way. And I really think you know, that's part of it. They, they've taken their chances. They've used their opportunities. And they put pressure on the leadership. And they saw fit to support me in those things. Yeah, you know, it sounds to me, Scott, uh, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but it just sounds to me like that, that, that we have a public servant in Scott that uh, is actually doing what he said he would do. Uh, I know when Scott was uh, campaigning, uh, he said very clearly that uh, he was not for new taxes. And, and Scott mentioned he was going to do something about it. Just mentioned it. He, he really come out and said he was going to do something about, to the extent that he could, about the immigration issue, illegal immigration here in Alabama. And uh, so, Scott, I guess that's what you're really saying, is that you, you did what you said you were going to do, and now that's a problem. And I really believe it is. Uh, you know, when the newspapers start writing things over and over and over, a lot of politicians, or the you know, politicians are maybe kind of the last people that actually read the newspapers anymore, because everybody else knows they can't tell the truth. So, I, you know, that's really where the buildup was. And, and the print media across the state really has a problem with the things I've been for, even though the vast majority of Alabamians agree with me. And uh, I think that's the disappointing part. That's the, that's the part that really bothers me. Is the people support what we're doing. And, and I'm hoping. I'm going to continue working. I'm not saying the people who are replacing me are not going to be 
more conservative thing, because I'm going to push as hard as I can from the background to make sure they do the things that we promised the people of the state we would do. Absolutely. Well, Scott, we appreciate you, and I think, I, I, matter of fact, I'm convinced, and I speak for most of the folks out there in the Tea Party patriotic movement, that we simply support you, Scott. We believe in what you're doing. Uh, we're, we're confident in what you're going to do, and so it's going to be even better. you got better days ahead of you. We're behind you, and all I can say is just you be the trooper that you've been, and uh, keep on keeping on. We're going to keep working. All Thanks, right. Steve. Thanks, Scott. Yes, sir.